What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, some news uh, came across my feed early today about something that happened yesterday in which this guy pictured up here is uh, Victor Prado. And uh, he's out, of here, out here in Houston where the story took place. This guy was given two life sentences for uh, what he did to an ex-girlfriend's two children, ages three and four. Now, they're evil people in the world. We know this. And uh, this stuff is happening so much. A lot of the news that's breathtaking and should be national, you know, as a warning sometimes to other people to be careful who they have their children around doesn't even make a lot of headlines nationally. This is one of those cases. Now, like I said, they gave him two life sentences yesterday. He's been sentenced to two life sentences after jurors convicted him of a horrifying case of what he did with these children. Now, there's no video out here on this guy that I could find. I've been doing that for the last hour. So we'll make our own video and I'll give you all the details of how horrific this man was or monster, if you may. And uh, we'll come back and talk about it. But for now, let me uh, read you what this guy did, and you got to brace yourself. It's not good. All right, guys, the headlines of the story uh, reads, Houston Moving Company owner gets two life sentences for torturing small children. He was babysitting. Victor Prado, age 45, was supposed to be watching the boy four years old and the girl three years old while their mother went to work. Instead, he made their lives a living hell with severe abuse. And it reads as follows. A Houston business owner who tortured two little kids ages three and four over and over is going to prison. A judge handed Victor Prado, age 45, two life sentences after jurors convicted him in a horrifying case of child abuse. This man intentionally tortured two little kids and now hopefully he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Harris County District Attorney Kim Og said now check this out Prado, Prado was dating the victim's mother in 2019 and 2020 and he allowed her and her children to live in a commercial office building in the A-Leaf area where he owned a movie com moving company. He was supposed, supposed to be supposedly be babysitting the children while she worked at his moving company, Greatest Movers. Instead, he repeatedly beat them, starved them, restrained them with zip ties. A witness who noticed the children looked malnourished asked why they weren't being fed. And Prado told her because it makes the children have to poop. The victim said she sometimes saw the couple leave at night without the children and also heard the victims screaming. She said the mother threatened to kill her if she turned them in. When CPS removed the children in May of 2020, they were in such bad shape that they took them to Texas Children's Hospital. The three-year-old girl was immediately placed in the intensive care unit and hospital staff said she was lucky to be alive. She had she had severely blunt. She said she had several blunt force trauma injuries, including broken ribs and a severe intestinal injury that was bleeding internally. She also had bed sores. The four year old boy was severely malnourished, weighed only 32 pounds and looked like a skeleton. Medical personnel testified at the trial. He had multiple broken bones in various stages of healing and permanent brain tissue loss. Both children had broken pelvises, an injury that typically seen only in children who are in car crashes. They also had ligature marks on their hands, wrists, and ankles and feet that left permanent scars. At a time in their lives when they should have been shown love and affection, these two children were shown violence and fear. They lost their innocence Assistant District Attorney Ashley Sheridan said they will have to live the rest of their lives with the effects of what this man did to them. And so should he. 
Doctors who treated the children classified their injuries as child torture as defined in the Journal of Child and Adolescent Trauma as the following. At least two physical assaults occurred over at least two incidents or a single extended incident, which would cause prolonged physical pain, emotional distress, bodily injury, or death. And at least two elements of psychological abuse, such as isolation, intimidation, emotional, psychological maltreatment, terrorizing, spurning, or deprivation. Jurors convicted Prado of two counts of injury to a child causing serious bodily injury, a first degree felony. He will have to serve at least 30 years before he'll be eligible for parole at 75 years old. Now, the mother, let's go to the mother. She was also charged. The children's mother, 34-year-old Elizabeth Ramirez, is also charged with two counts of injury to a child. According to court documents, Ramirez struck, beat, and starved her son and didn't protect him from Prado. The daycare teacher told police that she notified CPS in 2019 after the children confided in her that their mother and daddy Vic hurt them and told them to say the injuries happened when they fell. The boy told her that Prado also choked him, according to what the teacher said. Houston Police Department later interviewed the boy who told them that he did not eat at mommy's house and he was scared of daddy. According to court documents, Ramirez used latex filler and concealer on the boy's wrist to try to cover up his ligature marks when he went in public. Ramirez is expected back in court in September. Her trial date hasn't been set yet. All right, guys, that's the news of this asshole Victor Prada and this woman, uh, Elizabeth Ramirez, has not, the mother has not been, had a court date set yet. She needed the same fate as him. She shouldn't be around them children no more. Just her being around them bring back a lot of psychological trauma. These kids got scars that they'll have to bear the rest of their lives and look at and remember their time in horror with this demon that the woman was sleeping with. Now, she lived at a, a place where he worked, like a, a place of business. Now, a lot of things, a lot of people say, well, how would you live a commercial business? A lot of times out here in Houston, people have companies that they run out of houses. You know what I mean? They turn the house into a, a, a company office space, but you could still live in it. It has rooms and things like that. I think this is one of those cases because that's common out here. But uh, this guy right here, th th this is a perfect example of why when women meet men, you know, you have to pay attention to how he relates to your children. Is he just putting up with the children because he has to deal with you because he wants to deal with you or is he putting on a front when you're there and treating the children differently when you're not? So that's the thing. But this woman here, I want to say something real quick. Remember when I told you that a lot of times people connect with other people and put themselves in relationships, not necessarily from a point of desperation, but from a point of hanging out and being with somebody and trying to build something with them is commonality in them. I think she hated the kids just as much as this guy did having them around because he couldn't have her to himself. That's another thing. There are women out here, and this is the scary part. There are women out here that have children and they look at the children as a burden or they look at the children as an anchor, slowing them down from living their life when they made the conscious decision to bring forth the life of these children with or without this guy, whoever the father was. A lot of times when they have these children, right? They meet somebody new, the children get put on the back burner. They said they was leaving the house in the middle of the night with the children in there screaming. They tying the children down so bad, they got cut marks on their wrists, ankles, feet, Tying down three and four year old children. They shouldn't be home alone anyway. Now, God knows what they was doing. But just the fact of treating your children like animals is unacceptable to me. 
you got two uh, human beings here. I mean, you got two uh, adults here that treated other human beings as if they wasn't human beings. That makes no sense. A lot of times, you know, the children might look like the father and they don't care about the father no more. So it's kind of like, eh, they take it out on the kid. I've seen that multiple times, too. But I mean, as far as doing your children like this, they said the little boy looked like a skeleton. You as a mother with no nourish, nourishing instincts or mother instinct at all in your own selfishness didn't see that. Said the kids look so bad when they first got them, they had to rush them to the hospital. Little girl went in intensive care. You choked and beat a little boy and little girl as a grown ass man. Say 45 years old. Nothing but hate in his heart. And you know what's crazy? The woman that was with him wasn't too far away from the treatment. He did it because if he had fucked your kids up in front of you, you know damn well he put his hands on you. But they don't ever see it like that. People are stupid. And this right here shows the very pinnacle of how evil some people can be in their own selfishness. This guy's going to prison for the rest of his life. Being fed by taxpayers, state, you get to experience all this other stuff while these children still got to recover from the mental and physical scars of what was inflicted on him by Mr. Prada and the mother. Unacceptable. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.